continue with our room here and so we've played around uh, with edges and vertexes and now we're going to go to faces so what I want to do is select two of these faces and click shift click and what that does is selects two of the faces at the same time and what I'm going to do now is extrude and we'll give it a second there um, so we want to so it looks like nothing's changed but you can see the arrow has changed and what we want to do is just click over here and write 0 0.1 we could scrub but I don't know my computer's kind of like bugging out oh there it is so I'll just type 0 0.1 kind of the same press enter and if I uh, alt this is your friend and look around you'll see that it did move so that's the first thing okay so that's where you need to be so I'm gonna alt and go back to the front and at the offset I want 0 0.1 as well press enter and so now you got this kind of like uh, if you look at it it looks perfect it looks like a console Okay, so now we're going to go and continue creating. So what I want to do is I want to zoom out and select all. And uh, a couple ways to do this, but I find the best way is just select and all. And then everything is selected in your scene. Okay, or you could also drag and click and alt is your friend. So you get to see uh, that everything is, is selected. So let me just uh, let me do it again, select all just fixed it I was not in object mode so it's important that you're in object mode so uh, once you're in object mode then you close select all and everything will be okay so let's do that again and then what I want to do is go play create layer from selected so on everything make sure everything selected in your screen as you can see it is so there we go so I have this and now if I turn this off well it's gone and what I want to do now is I, I want to create a solar system and if for some reason your grid is off just click over here and everything will be fine. I'm going to start creating our solar system. So to do that, I'm just going to click over there and click in the middle of the grid. And so we're ready to go. And the first thing I want to do is rename this uh, because you're going to be doing stuff with the, these various uh, things. So having them properly named is important. Um, so there you go. And what I want to do is I want to scale the sun down. So it is in object mode and I have the right one. As you see here, it says sun. To select that I'm going to just type 0.5 and look at the size of the Sun it's going to shrink so I'm happy with the size of that I'm just saved my thing if you haven't saved it save it please because it does love to crash I'm going to press F now to frame up my model so it's a little closer Select again oh there we go so one thing you're going to notice I have a lot of uh, information here so I, what I'm going to do here is click on here instead of having 12 to 20 by 20 I'm going to reduce this because as I've already talked about this is kind of like hard on uh, the memory so the more polygons you have the, the worse it is unless you need them so this is a very small part of our scene so let's make it a little bit smaller I also want to turn off the wireframe uh, give me a second here which one is it so I just unselected it and turn off the wireframe on shaded so I just want you to show that the sphere is really kind of rough looking. So how do we fix that? So I'm going to select it and under mesh display, I'm going to go smooth and edge. And again, I'm going to click off and there you go. Now we have a nice, perfect sphere. So that's how you do that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create three more planets. I'm going to select three more planets. I'm going to select this and I'm going to click control D. And what you're going to see is a, if I grab my move tool, I'll be able to move out. Uh, this planet and instead of 0 0.5 what I'm going to do is whoops I'm going to select all three like this and then we go 0 0.1 so that'll be press enter there's my planet and I'll go control D and I'll create a couple more so maybe I want to make that one a little smaller
so I'll make this uh, 0 0.08 0 0.08 because they're not all the same size. Press enter. Oops. almost the same size but you get the idea I just change them up a little bit so they don't look uh, totally the same 